President Biden on the world stage for the first time. He's kicking off an eight day visit to Europe with a speech in front of U.S. troops yesterday in England. He's going to be meeting with a number of key allies over the next few days before finishing the trip with a summit with the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. Ian Lee is in London with more on the president's agenda. President Biden meets with British Prime Minister Boris Johnson today in southwest England ahead of the G7 summit. It's the first time any of us really have been able to, to see each other face to face uh, since the pandemic began. And, you know, the pandemic, let's, let's face it, was a pretty scratchy period. His first time on the world stage as president, Mr. Biden comes bearing gifts. The U.S. is buying half a billion coronavirus vaccines from Pfizer to give to lower income countries. We have to end COVID-19, not just at home, which we're doing, but everywhere. The commander in chief spoke with U.S. troops at the first stop of his eight day trip yesterday. When I was 14, if you pl please, at ease. I keep forgetting I'm president. <laughs> The president is expected to use the G7 meetings to reassure Europe of America's role as a global leader, following four years of President Trump's America First agenda. We're going to make it clear that the United States is back and democracies of the world are standing together. At the end of the trip, President Biden will hold a high stakes summit in Switzerland with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The United States will respond in a robust and meaningful way when the Russian government engages in harmful activities. The president says he'll confront Putin on election meddling and cyber attacks by Russian-based hackers. Ian Lee, London.